praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah El Yon, Jehovah El Olam, He is the everlasting God. Jehovah El Yon is the Lord Most High. Jehovah Elohim is the Lord our eternal creator. Jehovah El Shaddai. Jehovah Eloheka. The Lord thy God. The Lord our sanctifier, Jehovah Mekadishken. The Lord, the God of Israel, he has spoken with me today. And in this conversation, the Lord has spoken with me in the most serious manner I have ever seen, ever since Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, sent me. The Lord has spoken with me on this day. On this day, Jehovah, the 29th day of May, the year 2016, the Lord has spoken with me in the most serious way. I am shocked. I'm very, very astonished, astonished at this level of conversation. And in this conversation, the Lord has spoken with me about judgment coming to Kenya. The judgment of the Lord Jehovah is coming to Kenya unless Kenya repents. The Lord has spoken with me in the most terrible way, in his greatest words, about the judgment of the Lord, the God of heaven, that is coming to Kenya. And it's the worst judgment I have ever seen ever since the earth was created. The worst judgment ever since the earth was created is coming to Kenya. This time, Kenya, this is your turn now. This final is your turn. The Lord in that dream, he showed me people running, people running, and then I also saw gunfire and some people died. There is a severe judgment coming to the nation that bears the name Kenya. The judgment of Jehovah Elohim. And the Lord is asking for repentance again, 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 again now. I saw the first part of this dream, people running in large numbers and gunfire. And then I saw ambulance picking the dead body. After that, the Lord now takes me to a second part of this conversation he now puts me in the Kenyans' houses, the houses of the Kenyans. And I see so many trillions of mosquitoes. I've never seen so many like this. So many mosquitoes in the homes of the Kenyans biting me. In fact, some of them beat my back on the left-hand side of my back, below the shoulder, it beat me. And I was running. A lot, and the wrath of God was unbearable in the land. In every home, mosquitoes were full in their trillions and trillions and trillions. The last time I say trillions and trillions of insects biting me was in Brazil, before Brazil entered into this tremendous Zika virus and the, and the tremendous everything that uh, befell them. Brazil. At that time, also, the Lord took me into the homes of the Brazilians, and I saw a lot of insects biting me, a lot of insects in their trillions, and this time, a lot of insects have bitten me already in the homes of the Kenyans. The Lord is asking for repentance. The Lord is saying, my prophet and I have spoken with you, Kenya, again and again and again and again and again about repentance about national repentance, but you have not repented Kenya. You have not repented Kenya. You've enjoyed revival, but you have not repented unto Jehovah as a nation, as the Lord commanded you, Kenya. Instead, blackmail, 
slander, ridicule, mockery has been the name of your game unto the Lord. How I weep for you, Kenya. How come you did not know that when you have the mighty prophet of the Lord in the land, there will be a huge responsibility upon you as a nation. You need to walk righteous. You need to be holy. The church needs to be holy. The church needs to repent from sexual sin. The church needs to turn away from the love of money. Hypocrisy, false prophecy, false apostles, witchcraft, ridicule, and everything that has completely afflicted the church in this land. I have now seen a tremendous judgment of Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of hosts, coming to Kenya. I see people running. I see you running, Kenya. I see you running again. I saw you running, and I see you running again. And I see mosquitoes biting you. I see mosquitoes biting you everywhere, in every home, in their trillions. In fact, you could not walk in a room because so many mosquitoes are hitting you everywhere. It's like a wall of mosquitoes. I have never seen this level of judgment in the nation. And the Lord is saying that Kenya must repent. Kenyans must now embrace Jehovah. They must recognize that the mighty prophet of the Lord is in the land. Number two, they must fear the prophet of the Lord. Number three, they must now be holy. They must receive Jesus. Number four, Kenya must recognize that they have the biggest revival in the history of the earth. You cannot ignore this. You can't. You cannot. Jehovah will kill you. You cannot ignore this revival. You cannot ignore this servant. You cannot ignore this God. Never. Never ever. Never. 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 You cannot. Repress Kenya. Repress Kenya. Kenya have seen your judgment. Repress. What is wrong with you, Kenya? Repress and return to the Lord. Return to Jesus. You don't look good, Kenya. You don't look good, Kenya. I see you running. I see you running, Kenya. You don't look good, Kenya. I see you running. I see you running. I see you running. I see the nation running. You don't look good, Kenya. I have said repent. Repent and return to the Lord. I have said this. I have sung this. I have heard this. I have claimed this. I have exclaimed, I have clamored in this land. I've said, repent, Kenya. Repent and turn away from sin. You don't look good now. I've seen you now. I've seen you, Kenya. You don't look well. You look so bad now. Run, Kenya. Run to the Lord. Run and repent. Repent and turn away from sin and evil. You cannot ignore this revival. You cannot ignore this servant. You cannot ignore this prophet. You cannot ignore his God. You cannot ridicule him. You cannot mock him. You cannot blame him. You cannot slander him. Please repent and return to Jesus. Praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. And in that conversation... And in that wrath of the Lord, and in that tremendous and very shocking and fearful dream of the Lord, I found myself with a piece of paper in my hand, battling the insects. They are biting me. They, I was battling them. I was battling the insects. I see I have a long piece of paper, like two or four, a three kind of paper, folded together, and then I folded them into a long strip, so I was trying to battle, I was battling the insects, and the more I battled them, the, the more aggressive they become, until I ran away, I ran away from the house. So that means, if the Kenyan don't re- they will run away from their home, they are going to run away from their homes. I saw that I was battling, I was battling those insects, with it looked like a, a series of three, a four papers, about three or four of them folded together to make a long strip and I was battling the insects. I see myself battling the insects. I'm trying to fight them off, 
I'm beating them, I'm, that they, they, the more they became so many. So they became like a wall. Like when I was walking, I could see it's a wall, it's a wall, it's a wall. I cannot cross over. And I'm battling them. I'm battling them with a piece of paper. I'm trying to battle with them. There's a table. I'm battling them. And then at the end, the more I battled them, the more they were in there, trillions and trillions. And they were biting my back. They are beginning to bite me. So I reached a point when I ran out of the homes of the Kenyans. That means they will run out if they don't repent. The Lord is talking about repentance. And this nation must now repent and turn away from wickedness, from sexual sin, sexual immorality, the gospel of prosperity, from tribalism, from wickedness, witchcraft, atheism. Everything wicked is now in this land. They have worship. Everything in, is in this land now at this moment. The churches are preaching their own gospel. They don't care. The gospel they're preaching is money, 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 falsehood, immorality. And the Lord has finally caught up with Kenyans. I see you running again. I said I saw you running in 2004. I said I saw you running in 2005. I saw you running in 2006. I saw you running in 2007 before December. And then you ran. So this time again, I see you running. But this time you can repent, Kenya. For once you can repent. For once Kenya can repent. Either Kenya will worship the Lord or they will be judged. This is the moment for Kenya to repent now. The churches must repent and stop from that falsehood. They're going into politics all the time. They're politics, politics. They're not preparing the ship. And the nation must now recognize the revival of Jehovah in this land. That there is a mighty servant of the Lord in this land. They cannot afford to ignore him. Otherwise, God can finish them. He can finish this nation. They need to turn to him that he may be able to pray for the land. The Lord is saying this revival cannot be mistakable. This revival cannot be deniable. This revival is vivid, it is glorious, it is the glory of Jehovah. But at this time, this is the moment for repentance for Kenyans. Again, battling the insects, I'm battling them, I'm battling them with a piece of paper, I'm battling them, I'm battling them with a folded paper, I'm trying to battle with them, I'm battling them until I run away. Again, now battling them. And then as I was trying to run, I say to myself, I'm going to run to another house. And I began to run away now. I began to run away from this house where I was battling the trillions of insects and battling them, battling them, trying to do battle with them, battling them, but they were biting me. The, the mosquitoes were biting me seriously. And so I decided I'm going to run to another house. And then the Lord announced me and said, even in that house, they are full. So that means nowhere for Kenyans to run to except that they run to the Lord. That means they will have nowhere to run to except that they run to, they run to Jehovah and they run to Christ Jesus, our Lord. Only he is the redeemer, the creator of Kenya and the keeper of Kenya. This time the nation must observe a national repentance and the entire nation go back now to the salvation of Jesus, to living holy lives. There is so much sexual immorality in the towns of Kenya. Every single town has so many prostitutes, so many brothels. There is immorality. Women are walking naked, even in town. Women dress in the day as though there is no God in this country. But now I've seen myself battling the insects. I'm battling them and battling with them again. And then as I run and I say, let me go to another house. Then the voice of the Lord says, even in that house, they are full. That means there will be nowhere to run to. I see you running, but you have nowhere to run to. Only that you should run now to Jehovah. Only Jehovah will be your refuge. Battling them, battling them again, and running and saying to myself, I'll run to another house. Then the voice said, even in that house, the insects are full. <laughs> 